The state legislation's Highway Commission also met to discuss the recent events surrounding the Interstate 40 bridge into Tennessee. Yeah, our Claire Kreitz was at that meeting. She joins us live from the Capitol with more on what was discussed. And Claire, it's fair to say that there's certainly a lack of confidence, at least among some, in terms of how RDOT has been handling some of these uh, inspections. Yeah, that's right, Donna and Kevin. It was about a two-hour-long meeting. Legislators had lots of questions, starting with how could that big of a fracture go unnoticed for two years? No excuses. No excuses. RDOT officials in the hot seat facing state legislators following the discovery of a fracture in the I-40 bridge that went unnoticed for two years. We understand that confidence in our inspections is low right now. RDOT Director Lori Tudor and Deputy Director Rex Vines answered questions from lawmakers centering around the former employee in charge of inspecting the bridge each year. How this employee RDOT says during the annual inspection, the employee is supposed to lower himself onto the beam, then move across each side. He was dropping to that point and then looking left and right, but he was not extending beyond the point of his drop down. This caused him to miss the crack, it only getting bigger with time. So we have one person that inspects the bridges. That's the next question from legislators wondering why there's not another set of eyes on each part of the inspection process. That's part of our flaw in our process that we're going to fix, that we have that redundancy, those checks and balances. Tudor says they have now purchased a drone and are bringing in the Federal Highway Administration to review their practices. Even still, lawmakers say this puts all other inspections into question. Because if it can happen with one, and a critical infrastructure like this, it can happen on minor ones. All inspections by that former employee who missed the fracture are being redone. RDOT also asked TDOT to do a drone inspection of the I-55 bridge just to make sure that one's clear and working okay. Reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you. Hey, Claire, you know, we keep talking about this one employee, but I, you have to wonder, are they looking at any other employees who may be at fault as well? You know, RDOT was asked this question, and they said they're looking up the chain of command to see if anybody else was negligent in this, uh, you know, missing of the fracture in these inspections. So far, that one employee is the only one that's been fired, um, but they are looking to see if anybody else was involved. And, and Claire, in terms of the lawmakers, obviously they had a lot of questions and wanted answers today, but certainly they've got to be hoping more is going to be done. What else do they hope will will come out of this investigation. Well, you know, the Federal Highway Administration is coming in to do a review, and that includes their entire process, how these inspections are done. So they're looking into how they can do this better. You know, one big thing is that they only used one person to inspect this beam. They're going to make sure that there is checks and balances, that there's another review process to make sure things like this don't get missed. Also makes you wonder about the condition of other bridges throughout the oh, state. Oh, yeah. A lot of people are questioning yeah. it. All right, Claire, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Claire.